write that their name there. They, they're more willing to contribute to give them ownership of for that answer. Okay, so when you dine, what is your favorite food to eat? When you go home and you have dinner, what do you like to eat? So let's see. So I want you to use a complete sentence. When I dine, my favorite food to eat is. Okay, so Pauli.
I'll show you, this is what our chart, we, we developed this in the lower grades. This is a chart of strategies that we give to the kids. And they can take them on their table, so they have something to refer to. And then when they do their journal writing, after they do a word problem, they have a sentence stem. My math strategy for solving this problem was to, okay, and then they complete it using this chart. So I can email, I told Madam Maria that I would email this to her if she wants to send it out to you. If you want to tweak it according to your grade level, you can do that.
that's, there's always some sort of reward, which is good and bad, but it's, if, we don't, if we don't have that in place most of the time, then it's, I don't know how else we can do it actually to be able to manage that. And then we have table points, so when they're in groups, then you'll say, okay, I'm going to keep going to the first group that's ready, and the kids will, will get ready. When they get points, and at the end of the week, we say, we see who has the most amount of table points. So different strategies, like different management systems like that, or cards where they switch from green to yellow to orange to red. So green is means they're good, yellow, they're, that's a warning. Orange, um, that is, that might be a timeout, and the red, phone call home. Okay, so, yeah, we have to have a lot of things in place. Very structured, right? That you're, you're, everyone has to be at the same point, the same point, and so on. Mm -hmm. Now we all know that for mathematics, different children can grasp the ideas at different times. Mm -hmm. So how do you handle like there may be some children who may not understand and may not follow. So what is the call to action? So that's the part where, you know, differentiation is quite hard because we have to find the material in this sort of structure. So we have extended day, and that's kind of our degree all actually. So we get to choose which students we want to be an extended day, and it's 10 students per teacher. And then there are two days dedicated to math and two to literacy. So that's, that's our main mode of um, intervention. But we also have after school programs in place. Any other questions?
Yeah, and then in that lesson, there's the vocab lesson. And I think um, it's very engaging as a teacher. I think we will all love to be in the class. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so um, thank you very much. Uh, and uh, yeah, please uh, feel uh, free to give a uh, uh, feedback. And uh, one more thing also, I realized that uh, besides being a very engaging in the magic teacher, I think she's also a very keen learner. And I remember her coming for our math workshop, which was actually at night. She came all the way down to um, join our one sponge uh, workshop on the parents. And I think that's uh, one of the greatest qualities of the teacher, a continu continual uh, learning plan Yeah, all right. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, once you're done, I just say, okay,